California police say they have been swamped with calls about photos of women and children taken by a man who's now on death row for five murders. So take a good look at these pictures. It is the first time they've been released in 30 years. Police released these images this week because they fear that Rodney Alcala may be responsible for many more murders. Alcala appeared on the popular 1970s TV show, The Dating Game. He's a skydiver, so he's got a lot of nerve. He's into motorcycling. He's also a fine photographer. Say hello to Rodney Alcala. Rodney, come on and say hello. Ooh, joining me live now, criminal profiler Pat Brown. Pat's also the author of The Profiler, My Life Hunting Serial Killers and Psychopaths. Good morning to you. Good morning, Alex. You don't like him? I mean, you're not no, going to go on a date with him? No, I got to <laughs> chill. Fortunately, even though she, she picked him, you know, she picked this guy, but they never went on a date. And that exactly. may have been the she smartest thing. She said he was thing. too creepy, so uh, she was right. Yeah, it was just, hmm. Anyway, um, so the fact this guy was on the dating game and, and won, he did not shy away from the public like some serial killers do. What does that tell you about him? Well, he, he was a very arrogant man. He just thought the world of himself. And now he's, of course, representing himself in court because he thinks he's a fine lawyer as well. So obviously, you know, he, he really, yeah, he thinks a lot of himself and he thinks everybody else should too. Okay. This guy was a photographer, freelance photographer, went and took so many pictures. Authorities are trying now to see if some of the people in these pictures were victims. But why do you think it took them 30 years to release the photos? I, that, that boggles my mind. That is, to me, absolutely crazy. That should have gone out, obviously, decades ago, so that if these women were missing, they could solve the cases at that time. I mean, this is a long, a long ways away, and if they ever do find that those girls went missing or they find bodies of these victims, what are they going to connect to them, except these pictures? I was going to say, is it possible to get new leads? I mean, there's one person who claims to know one of the girls in the photos and says, this girl's been missing for decades. Is it possible that, that there will be new leads now this much later that, that leads to the answers these people are looking for? I, I don't know how many new leads are going to get as far as actually what happened or where the, where the girl went off to. But if they can identify these girls, uh, a couple of them here and there, as actually truly missing girls or a Jane Doe someplace that they never were able to identify, then at least maybe they can help the families get some closure that they know what happened to their, their daughter or their, their sister or whoever. So it, it's going to help, I think, but uh, whether they can prove anything is another question. What's with the pictures? Why does a murderer go and take pictures of victims. Well, first of all, he's a photographer, so that's, he theoretically did that for a living. He probably also used that as a ruse and also a way to get to meet young women because, boy, saying you're a photographer really works. It's, and other serial killers have used that ruse. They've gone in and they said to the girl, hey, here's my business card. Look, I'm a photographer. You want to be a model? And boy, girls just, they just flock to that. I mean, it's ridiculous. They all, oh, God, I'm going to be in Hollywood. And they'll go off to the guy's van and never be seen again. And, and so it's a very good way to get girls to come to you. And so for him to use that to get his ladies in his life, uh, and then possibly do something to them, it works. But what does it say about the man who takes pictures of some of his victims after they're dead, too? Well, that's a whole other thing. I mean, you're looking back at the crime, and you get to relive it over and over again and say, look what I did to you. See how powerful mm -hmm. I am. This is, this, is, this is a big thrill. It's a souvenir he's going to keep around. Like we all keep souvenirs around to look at and say, oh, look at that lovely picture of my vacation. He just has a picture of his killing. So, you know. Creepy. Each his own. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. very creepy. Criminal profiler Pat Brown. Thanks, Pat. Thanks, Alex.